Now let's add the ultimate weapon to Goru here. The giant boxing glove. Oh, please let this work. Come on, here we go. And... <laughs> yes! That is amazing! Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. We have another new update. So we have Coward Cole here. And also over here, there's a pile of rocks. But this isn't just any ordinary pile of rocks. This is actually a nest for the new faction, the Swarm Bug. So let's see what they're like, shall we? Here we go. Run, Cole, run! <laughs> yeah, they're pretty awesome. Wait, what? Oh, that's new as well. New victory thing. It actually doesn't cover up the screen, which is nice. But yeah, they can lift him up. I wonder if they can lift up King Kung here. Let's find out, shall we? Here we go. Come on, swarm bugs have this. They're actually pretty powerful. They are in the invertebrates faction, and they are actually now the most expensive ones you can buy at, I believe, $90. Come on, King Kung. And he is down. Look at them go. So yeah, check it out. Giant invertebrates and swarm bug, $90. They are pretty cool. I like the fact they come in like some rocks. The only issue with this, well, it's not really an issue, but you can't really upgrade them anymore because they're heading away down there and it doesn't really work. But you know what? That's not a problem. They're pretty fine how they are. But let's see what happens if we scale them up. Oh, man. Is it going to scale up the swarm bugs inside as well? I'm going to assume it does. Yep. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Here we go. Oh, it's working. But because we've scaled it up, they're a lot larger now. And it looks like they are struggling a little bit to fly. But it still works. They're all dead. Oh, they picked one up again. Yeah, nice. That's actually really, really cool. But that is not all that is in this update. So in the animal decor tab, we can now add eyeballs hats and glasses so we're gonna create a character here and i need everyone's help in the comment section because i want to make a character that appears in future episodes so let's go ahead give him some googly eyes there we go i love the direction this game is going in and let's also give him a hat but i need your help with a name suggestion for this guy right here and the plan is to just add extra stuff to him in different episodes and see where it takes us. So the best name in the comment section will win. I don't really like that hat. Let's change it to maybe this one. What's the difference between these hats anyway? Oh, I see high anchor point and low anchor point. Oh, so we want to give him this one then if we are going to give him a hat. Maybe I should flip it around. <laughs> oh, that doesn't fit his head. I never thought I would see anything like this in this game, but I am so happy it is in. <laughs> yes. Now, because of his eyes, we can't really give him glasses. However, what I can do is put the glasses on his hat. Uh, are these the right side? Oh, there we go. So they could be resting there. Should we make them comically large or is that just going to look really weird? How does that look? <laughs> it looks really stupid. But then again, we could give him these glasses. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, looking pretty good. Now, we also have some new armor. So these are armored scales, I believe. And these are really good for chess pieces, I believe. So if we go ahead and uh, rotate it a little bit, we can add armor right here. There we go. See, it looks pretty nice, right? It doesn't look too bad. And if we go to this one, maybe we can improve his six pack. Or is it an eight pack? I don't know. So a bit like this... So yes, he looks extremely goofy, but we can also make him very powerful. So feel free to leave your suggestions in the comment section down below. And again, make sure you name this guy right here. But one of my favorite things in this update is probably actually this. So if we head over to the animal weapons, we now have a boxing glove. The only downside to this is we can only use the right-handed boxing glove. There's no left-handed one, so we're gonna have like really weird looking boxing gloves, a bit like how the hands used to be. But I'm gonna assume that will be updated soon. All right, let's see him in action now. We're just gonna call him nameless for the time being. All right, here we go. He's going up against a normal hill giant. Of course, he has a little bit of armor and the boxing gloves, so he should win this battle pretty easily. Oh, still going on. I don't know how much damage these boxing gloves do. 
they do much damage at all. But let's uh, let's have a little look at the health, shall we? Oh, yes, we're going to win this one easily. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and save this guy for future episodes. Proceed. Now it's time for war. So we have here the king. But on the other side, we have Swarm Bug. So their objective is to take out the king and then they have won. Also, just ignore this guy. I was just having a little bit of fun while setting up. Start the fight. Here we go. Here come the Swarm Bugs now. Moving in. Oh, Roman soldiers. I think every single one of them missed with their spears right there. Archers are going to do the most damage, though, to these Swarm Bugs. Oh, look at this. He's got him. So yeah, it seems like they are very powerful because there's so many of them. It's really hard for the enemy team to actually attack one of them at a time. It'd be very confusing. Where's the king as well, by the way? Oh, the king's still there. He's doing a great job, as you can see. Everyone is defending him. Seems to be doing fine. We don't have too many swarm bugs remaining, though, so I don't feel too confident for them. Although, as you can see, they have done a lot of damage to the uh to the people here the ancient army yeah swarm bugs have definitely lost this one but don't worry reinforcements are on the way they're called swarm bugs for a reason i've just spawned in a bunch of them all right now surely they have a much better chance of winning look at that oh no they've got the soldier he's going they're taking him up so also when they drop them i'm guessing that also does quite a lot of damage right swarm bugs I'm guessing going to win this time. Look how many there are. Where's the king? I don't see the king. King. Oh, there you are. I see you. Nice. He's still alive. Doing okay. What's, what's his health like? Oh, he's taken damage. He has taken damage. He might die soon. Just stay alive, king. This is so chaotic. Look at the horse. Even the horse is getting involved. Although I think he might be kicking friendlies right now. I'm not too sure. Horse is just freaking out. Doesn't know what to do. You know what? The humans are actually going to win again. That means we might need to call in some more swarm bugs. Oh no, the king is dead. So technically the swarm bugs have won. Yeah, look, there he is. Poor fella, there's his crown. Oh no. They are multiplying. Oh no. <laughs> Here we go. Here comes the laggy mess. They've actually cleared out the Roman soldiers at the front here pretty easily. These people must be freaking out right now, seeing all these creatures after them. Come on. Some of them are like stuck on the wall by the looks of it. Oh, here we go. They're going up now. Okay, this is good. Look at this guy. How does that even happen? He's just chilling on the wall. All right. Yeah, the swarm bugs surely have the win easily here. Where's the king? Can anyone see the king? Oh, there he is. Dead. Big time dead. Only a few remaining now, and come on. Swarm bugs have won. Look at them just stuck here. Let's see what they look like up close. Ugly looking things, that's for sure. I reckon we go ahead and spice up Goru a little bit here, shall we? Should we give him some like googly eyes? Should we make him huge as well? Hang on, let's go free. And this side as well, there we go. And uh, can we give him glasses? Maybe Let let's go for a hat first. And then if we can, we'll put some glasses above it. Okay, do we go for this one? Let's see. Oh man, he's got like a massive head. So it's really hard to fit anything on. That just looks kind of weird, but it does work in a way. Um, I don't know how I feel about this actually. Let's get rid of the hat. Oh no, what have I done to him? What have I turned you into? Oh, okay. Nope, I don't like that. Get rid. Now let's add the ultimate weapon to Goru here. The giant boxing glove. Oh. Okay, so he can't support the boxing glove, but let's just see what happens here anyway. Does it still work? Yes, it does. Nice. It does pack a punch. Now I have, of course, added decorations to him, which won't really help him in any way. I don't think they act as armor at all, but... The, uh, the armor plates on the side on his shoulders will definitely help out a little bit. Although these hill giants won't get enough height to actually hit that area anyway. Boxing glove seems to be doing well though. Kind of. He loses balance a little bit because of it, I think. But other than that, not too bad. I, I probably need to move the placement of it a little bit. In fact... I am actually considering adding a bunch of boxing gloves, smaller ones, and then we'll see how effective that is. Only one remaining. Finish the job, Goru. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Nice. 
So this is the normal size boxing glove. Let's just go ahead and add a bunch to him. And then we'll see just how powerful he becomes with all these. Here we go. Yeah, it looks, uh, well, extremely strange. But if it works, it works. Let's go up against the demon. Here we go. I want to see all these gloves just go flying towards him. Please let this work. Come on, here we go. And... <laughs> yes! That is amazing. Is he dying though? Let me check. Hang on. How's he doing? Oh, he's down half, half health. He's actually lower now. Oh, it's working so well. Go on, Goru. Ooh. And he is dead. Feeling pretty confident now. I've spawned in a lot more creatures, including two hellhounds and also the lava golem here. Here we go. Come on. I mean, there's enough boxing gloves there to take them all out, right? Come on. One thing I do worry about, though, is once we kill the lava golem there, if he blows up, that's going to do a lot of damage to me. Here we go. He's rolling towards us. Look at his face. He looks so happy. Well, actually, more like he looks terrified. But other than that, you know, it's working pretty well. Boxing gloves are doing pretty good. Health-wise, uh-oh. Health-wise, not too good. Not good. But he has done a lot of damage, as you can see. In fact, is he going to win? Come on, only a couple more. He did it. Wait. What's he doing? Hang on a minute. What? <laughs> There's one skeleton left and he got boxed to death. Look at his health though. He was so close to dying and yet he still managed to kill all of them. I don't know why I'm saving this one, but I'm going to save it anyway. Proceed. I just really quickly want to try this out. I have a Titanoboa here and I'm going to go for the animal decker again, but this time... Oh, we can actually give him snake eyes too, uh, which makes more sense, but I think... It would be a lot more funny if we added giant eyes to it. I mean, it's always <laughs> it's always hilarious adding these eyes to creatures. <laughs> Look at that. And uh, yeah, let's make him fight the gorilla right here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Just imagine seeing that come towards you. Oh, no. When he opens his mouth, the eyes don't stay there, <laughs> which is even more terrifying. Oh, that's weird. That is really strange, but I think the Titanoboa is going to win this fight pretty easily here. Yep. And victory. Yes. I actually can't wait to see the suggestions that you guys come up with, especially with these new additions. Give him some glasses and a lovely hat. Look at that. And a boxing glove. This is so weird. What a weird creation. Oh... Did you see that? The boxing glove hit him in the face, and then he goes for the bite. That is a pretty good attack. Is he dead already? No, nope, he's still alive. Come on, fin finish the job. And he has won. All right, you know what? Let's remove the boxing glove. I actually love how he looks. He looks kind of funny. Again, don't know why I'm saving this one, but screw it. Proceed. Now, let's see if the snake can take out the guy we created earlier. Let's go. I really have no idea who actually will win this one. Oh, you see that? His armor there really helped him out from that first snake attack. Come on, and again. Yeah, I feel like uh, our character that we made earlier is actually going to win this one. I hope anyway. Titanoboa, very powerful though. But we'll uh, we'll see what happens here. That's it, keep punching. <laughs> it's the eyes. The eyes just get me every time. I mean, he doesn't look as intimidating anymore. But <laughs> it's, it's a great addition to him. Come on, buddy. You got this. Keep punching. No, he's got your arm. No, no, that's not good. That's going to do a lot of damage. No, 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 no. Did we win? Yes, we did it. I love how the uh, <laughs> his eyes stay there, but the hat and glasses come off. Good job, buddy. Good job. Well, on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There is another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye.